Okay, welcome back to my DJI Neo 2 videos. Today we're going to connect the Goggles 3, the Motion 3, the RC3, and the Neo 2, and we've got our smartphone here. So we've turned everything on by pressing and holding, okay? Including the goggles, the switch is just here. So you've got the goggles, cable going to the smartphone, which is Android at the moment. And we're going to hit connection guide just here. Choose Neo, which updated firmware latest app that you get from the and from the store at DJI, so you don't use the Play Store on your phone. Then you get the choice here, look, connect with RC Goggles, mobile and RC. So we're gonna go Goggles, and we've got the Goggles 3, which are currently turned on, cable connected. Take your lens cover off before you turn it on. Little tip here, the shorter end of the adapter, if you just look here, we've got an adapter coming out of the goggles, which are turned on, of course. Uh, put the short end onto the goggles, then the longer normal USB data cable into your phone. Otherwise, it just doesn't detect it. Then you select Neo, and it says here, keep aircraft powered on insert and secure digital transceiver. So, which we've done, and then we're going to go installed. Unable to connect aircraft, remove the gimbal. Let's see if, if we hit unable. And then we've got to press and hold four seconds. Until it beeps, just there, and then aircraft. And we're going to see on the phone, we're going to see everything that the, the drone is seeing. So it's saying that the battery firmware needs updating, so we'll let it do that. And we actually have to confirm in the goggles with the, with the little toggle. So click OK. Uh, it looks like we've got to turn the drone back on because it restarted really after the firmware. Quickly turn that back on. And I, I, I forgot, <laughs> you have to click OK well lit. on Extra the actual goggles. Which is, I mean, why they don't let you use the screen. But anyway, everything's ready for flying now. And you'll see that the motion, it just works out the flying box well now. Textured environments. You see it there, and obviously there's training to do with the the motion, right and left, up and down. And, and so let's, uh, it's quite rainy today, I might just have a go in the kitchen. Okay, so everything you're seeing on the phone, you would see on the goggles. What we'll do, if you have a look here at the lens, watch. As I move, it's uh, moving the, the lens up and down. Now if we double press the, let's call it the, SOS button. It starts to, you know, it starts the propellers. We just edge it up. And just remember that nothing will, it'll go up and down, but if you try and turn, if you try and do that, it won't do anything until you slightly press the trigger. So now you can lean forward and down and it'll go down and turn it round. Remember, I'm, I'm slightly pressing this all the time. Turn it. There it comes. I mean, it's the, I think it's the best way to fly it myself. and go down and FPV the setup I'll do that in another video but great fun with the goggles on of course but just to show you that it's working and you're all set up now and you've got your home button here bye for now all the best 